Well, friends, the countdown is on. That's right. The students are counting. The students are counting the days. Students are counting the sleeps. The countdown is on. Do you remember those days? Maybe you're not a student anymore. But do you remember? You get into June and you're just counting the days. And you know what? I think the teachers are just counting the days too. And I know there's some counting of days going on in my house. And it won't be long now. Hang in there, everybody. You got this. You can do this. Right? But you know what makes it even more difficult sometimes? And we were having this conversation just uh, not long ago in my house. You know, you're counting the days and then you walk into class and you have a supply teacher. Now, friends, I, I from what I'm hearing, not much has changed since I've been in school. I haven't been in school for a while, but... When I was in school and you walked into class and there was a supply teacher, something seemed to happen to students and it wasn't a good thing. All of a sudden people thought they could do and get away with whatever they wanted. And I feel bad. I feel bad. I I'm praying. I'm praying for te teachers right now. Be kind to the teachers. They're counting the days to it and especially be kind to the supply teachers. Because that's not an easy job. It's never an easy job. But this time of year, it's really not an easy job. And like I said, I get this sense as I talk to some students in my house that it's the same kind of situation as when I was in school. And you walk in and there's a supply teacher and people think they can do whatever they want to do. And that they're going to be able to get away with it. It's a bit of a free-for-all. And that's just not the way it should be. Here's the problem. The problem is when a few people start acting in a particular way, we have that crowd mob mentality. A few people start to act that way and a few more do and a few more do and pretty soon it can be just utter chaos in a classroom. And, um, you know, it, it can be difficult. It can be hard when people think they can do whatever they want to do. And it can be hard to be the one student or the two students or the few students that really want to listen and want to be kind. And it takes courage. We've been talking about that this past week here at DBC. It takes courage sometimes to obey. And when you're in a classroom and all the other students are acting in a particular way, it takes courage to kind of say, no, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going to listen, or I'm going to try to listen, or I'm not going to act that way. And so whether it's in a classroom or whether it's in a workplace or wherever we might be, we have to be oh so careful that we don't get swept up in, in some things that are going on in such a way that we become rude and obnoxious and we're no longer kind because God calls us to be kind. And so sometimes it takes courage to obey. I was thinking about that in relation to Noah. Do you know the story of Noah? It's a great story. It's in the Bible. It's in Genesis chapter 6. You should look it up. The world was kind of going crazy and there was a lot of things happening and everybody just seemed to be going down a very bad path and a very difficult path and it made God very sad and God had to react and, and yet there was Noah. Noah had to have courage he had to step away from what everybody else was doing and build a huge boat. Didn't make any sense. Seemed a little bit crazy. It took him courage to do that. He had to have courage if he was going to obey. And this is what we read in the Bible. This is what we read about Noah. Noah did everything just as God commanded him to. That's in Genesis chapter 6, verse 22. That part of the Bible that tells the story of Noah and tells the story of that great flood and tells the story of Noah listening even when everybody else wasn't listening. Noah did everything just as God commanded him to. Now that's not always easy to do. It definitely takes courage, especially when everybody else is doing one thing and you need to do another. It's kind of like that student in the classroom with the supply teacher who is really trying to pay attention who doesn't want to participate in that craziness in the free-for-all. You end up standing out a little bit, and it takes courage. But we need to have courage. We definitely need to have courage to follow God. 
Noah had to have courage. Somebody in a classroom or in an environment where no one else is listening and no one is following the, the design and details that God has laid out. But Noah did. And I trust that we can too. And so friends, be kind as you go about your day. And don't allow yourself to get pulled into things that aren't helpful, aren't healthy, things that aren't of God. And may it be said of us as it was said of Noah that he did everything, we did everything, they did everything that God commanded. Take care. Have a great Wednesday. And don't forget to pray for those teachers and students. God bless you. Peace be with you. Thank you.